Amelia fainted on top of the balloon. The balloon began to land, and Amelia was slipping away. James and Amelia take a dog up in a hot air balloon, dozens of meters in the air. Amelia picked up the dog and dropped it. Turns out it was just Amelia's trick. She needed to grandstand to get funding. Amelia, dressed like an actress, leans out in mid-air to greet the people below. What she didn't expect was something so horrible that even the dog would be glad to get out of the balloon earlier. This was 1862, before humans could fly, and brave men took to the skies in hot air balloons, some for glory, some for science. Amelia is an experienced pilot. James was the first scientist to fly. Your reputation is built on paper, and my reputation is built on screens. And as the balloon climbed 344 meters. They met the first cloud. With the wind blowing towards the clouds, Amelia takes off her makeup and changes, much to James' embarrassment. It wasn't long before they were in the clouds. Then came the sound of thunder. Soon there was nothing to see, and suddenly a strong wind came, and the two men struggled in the current in violent shaking. They decided to fly higher, away from the clouds. James broke his head and bled. And Amelia was thrown straight out. She clung to the rope until James pulled her back. Suddenly, another storm came. They held on to the baskets and screamed in terror. But suddenly, the rain drops and the sun shone. The weather up there changed so fast. They lost no time in tying up the ropes as the balloon climbed to five kilometers. A strange thing happened. A large flock of yellow butterflies appeared around them, like a fairy tale. No one expected butterflies to fly so high. So he theorized beyond the birds, an air current in which only insects travel, and I never believed him. When the balloon reaches seven kilometers, the temperature drops to minus six degrees Celsius. The equipment freezes, and the air gets thinner and thinner. This was James' first flight, and he didn't even bring thick clothes. But James refused to lower his attitude and was determined to fly upwards. The science that says, with every layer of air, we are traveling into an unknown. Soon, at eight kilometers, ice forms on the surface of the balloon. James could not feel his hands because of the cold, and he was also hypoxic and unconscious. James releases the pigeon, but he doesn't fly. He just falls and looks like he's going to die. He went to get the last pigeon, but all of them froze to death. James is throwing things to lose weight. He wants to fly higher. Amelia thinks he can't fly anymore, but James is already a little crazy. At the critical moment, Amelia slaps James. But when Amelia went to open the vent, she couldn't because she was frozen. You have to keep moving. Yes. If you lay still, then when the hypoxia will set in, Amelia decides to go up and deflate manually. This is at ten thousand meters, minus thirty degrees. Amelia began to climb to the top of the balloon without using any protection, because you have to climb to the top and open the air valve to land. To prevent dizziness, Amelia tied a rope around her waist and continued climbing. Finally, made it to the top of the balloon. She was exhausted to the limit, but the valve was too frozen solid to open. So she stood up and stamped on it, and the gas gushed out, and she stuck it with her shoes. Amelia fainted on top of the balloon. The balloon began to land, and Amelia was slipping away. When Amelia came to, it was the rope that saved her life. When I woke up, I was very afraid. Amelia calls out to James, but James doesn't answer. Amelia began to swing herself. By swinging, she finally got back into the basket. He called for James, and it took him a long time to wake up. Waking up, James saw that they were descending. By this time. Snow was falling all around, but the snow is not falling; it is still. You notice something about the snow? It means they are falling fast, at the same speed as the snow. They were very afraid that they would fall to their death at this speed. They decided to lose weight like crazy and get rid of everything. Eventually, they threw away their clothes. Both men took off their coats and threw them down. But what if the balloon was still trying to descend? They decided to climb onto the balloon and threw the basket away. As the basket was the heaviest, the two men climbed up and cut the rope. And with each cut, the balloon tilted a little. The only way to keep from falling is to hold fast to the rope. At last, 
The basket fell, but it was of no use. The balloon was still going down very fast. At this most desperate moment, Amelia remembers her husband jumped in to save her. Keep looking up. Yes, yes, no! Now Amelia wants to do the same. James desperately tries to stop Amelia, saying that if she can't leave, they will die together. Then it occurred to James that the balloon could be turned into a parachute. I'm not returning alone, Amelia. I'm not returning alone. It's either both of us or neither of us. By cutting the rope that held it in shape, then they began a slow descent, and both were very happy to escape. But it wasn't all over. They raced into the forest. They kept crushing. James fell first. Amelia hit the ground with the balloon. Was dragged a long way before it came to a stop. Happily, they both survived. After coming back from the brink of death, they finally felt at ease to stand on this land and walk home together, facing the sunset. With this flight, they broke the human record at the time: eleven thousand two hundred and seventy-eight meters. And James got valuable meteorological observations that demonstrated the different layers of atmosphere. This discovery set in motion a history of weather forecasting. We took to the skies in the name of discovery. It's based on a true story, and the hero is James Glacier. He was a famous meteorologist in the 19th century, devoted to the study of meteorological. An aeronautical science. The heroine of the prototype is the world's first professional female balloon pilot, Sophie Blanchard.